Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have a simple topic, wasting diseases of teeth. Wasting diseases, they are nothing but loss of tooth substances, enamel, dentine and cementum due to various reasons. So we have abrasion, attrition, erosion and abstraction which is uh, having different cause and different appearance. Now let's learn the wasting diseases of teeth. Wasting disease by definition which is uh, given in Carranza textbook of periodontology it is defined as a gradual loss of or any gradual loss of tooth substance which is um, characterized by formation of smooth polished surface without regard to the possible mechanism of this loss okay so the tooth structure loss without a possible mechanism that is wasting diseases it is a gradual loss of tooth substance which is characterized by the formation of smooth polished surface without regard to the possible mechanism of this loss so that is a def uh, definition given in Carranza textbook of periodontology so we have four uh, types of wasting diseases they are abrasion, attrition, erosion and abstraction. Abrasion is nothing but uh, the loss of tooth substances by a foreign object which uh, is acting a, in a sliding or rubbing action such as a toothbrush. So this is mechanical action. We can uh, uh, say abrasion is most commonly on the left side of arch that is left side of the patient for a right-handed person because the right-handed person holds the brush in right hand and applies more pressure on the left side rather than the right side so the most common reason for abrasion is uh, tooth brushing that is uh, a v-shaped notches uh, we can see on the uh, premolars and molars canine region so we can say a combination of a hard toothbrush, an abrasive toothpaste and an intense uh, horizontal brushing technique is believed to cause a well-defined V-shaped notches in the cervical regions of one or more facial tooth surfaces where the dentine and cementum are less wear resistant than the coronal enamel. So it is mostly on the cervical regions because the cervical region is uh, basically covered by the cementum and dentine okay in the coronal side it is uh, enamel and dentine so uh, cementum has less uh, wear resistance uh, compared to the enamel okay so it is a combination when we have a, a horizontal technique so that is why always dentists prescribe a parallel technique parallel to the long axis of teeth which uh, removes the interdental debris also most commonly uh, people prefer horizontal technique so along with this uh, detrimental horizontal technique uh, abrasive toothpaste and a hard toothbrush will result in a v-shaped notch in the cervical regions of the facial tooth surfaces okay so where it is more pronounced in the tooth region or the cervical region where the cementum and dentine are less wear resistant than the coronal enamel so abrasion uh, uh, there are many habits which causing abrasion such as uh, the misuse of dental flows and toothpick and pipe smoking uh, and also thread biting so abrasion can also seen in people uh, like people who holds hair grips between the teeth okay so in uh, like professions and seamstresses and hairdressers so these people also may have tooth abrasion so that is uh, a mechanical force and basically it is due to the toothbrush and also other reasons uh, which i mentioned like uh, so that is about abrasion which is a mechanical reason mainly due to toothbrush and other reasons like dental flows toothpick pipe smoking thread biting 
mm, holding hair grips are also result in uh, enamel dentin or cementum loss which is basically a v-shaped notch appearance now let's move on to attrition which is a physiological uh, cause it is resulting from tooth to tooth contact that is two body wear produce well defined wear facets on the functional surface of the teeth so so always uh, these functional surface of teeth in one jaw which match corresponding lesion on the teeth in the other jaw that is why it is known as two body wear so if it is present on the uh, upper teeth opposite teeth also will have the same or almost same uh, tooth loss which is known as attrition okay so it is two body wear because it is a tooth to tooth contact so it is two body wear and it is commonly seen in people with uh, stresses and uh, loss of uh, the occlusal space usually uh, we have a 2 mm gap when uh, our upper and lower jaw are at rest some people may not have this close uh, space and uh, the small space people with uh, people who lacks this particular space may have a habit of continuously grinding their teeth and also when stress factors are there people uh, used to grind their teeth and also night grinding also there so when uh, people grind the teeth unintentionally other than the reasons for mastication the tooth will be the two structures will be lost on the functional surfaces so these people will have a uh, wear facets a polished surface on the occlusal surface basically on the uh, maybe on the premolars and molars so upper and lower teeth also uh, both the teeth are having uh, tooth loss at the same time so parafunctional habits such as bruxism and clenching are also believed to be an important factor which uh, causing this accelerated attrition so attrition is a physiological tooth wear two body wear and resulting in a wear facets on functional surfaces that is like a polished surface on the occlusal surface abrasion is a mechanical one some foreign object should be there like toothbrush hair uh, flows or toothpick whereas the erosion erosion is completely different uh, and um, before that attrition uh, can also due to reasons uh, such as uh, there is a tooth natural tooth which has a uh, an antagonist tooth and opposite tooth which is made up of uh, porcelain like we are uh, having a artificial tooth which is made up of porcelain or other any metal artificial tooth which can uh, result a tooth wear on the natural tooth okay and people who are having a coarse diet and also some developmental defect also lead to attrition along with our uh, normal grinding that is tooth to tooth uh, chewing now let's move on to um, erosion so erosion is nothing but a loss of tooth substance uh, due to acids the acid could be or the reason could be intrinsic or extrinsic so erosion uh, is basically defined as a reversible loss of dental heart tissue by chemical process that does not involve the bacteria okay so uh, in dental caries we know there is involvement of bacteria which produces acids which in turn uh, causes remineralization or the softening of enamel and leads to cavitation whereas in erosion the same process acids are there acid production is there or acid presence is there but there is no involvement of bacteria okay so dissolution may occur on exposure to acid that can be introduced into the oral cavity so erosion uh, most commonly uh, present as a broad shallow saucer shaped defects involving enamel and dentin and there will not be any sharp line angles and the margins of the defects are not well defined the surface appears very smooth and polished occurs on the facial or lingual surfaces but usually on the lingual surface of 
maxillary anteriors because a uh, person who is having uh, this um, GERD gastroesophageal reflex disease the uh, stomach acids uh, it frequently comes and get contact with the palatal surface of maxillary anteriors and we may also have exogenous uh, acids such as uh, lemon juices uh, or any other uh, aerated drinks which we commonly have like uh, Pepsi, Coke or such aerated drinks. Uh, lemon juices other citric juices which under erosion so endogenous causes are also there exogenous endogenous means the causes found within like our gastric acids okay uh, frequent uh, people with uh, frequent vomiting uh, also can have this problem exogenous uh, sources are sources which is coming from outside such as the uh, juices or the food which contains more acids so endogenous uh, causes which cause erosion on the lingual incisal and occlusal surface uh, whereas the exogenous uh, causes um, could uh, affect on any exposed surface of the teeth now we have the last one abfraction okay abfraction is a pa pathological loss of tooth substance due to biomechanical loading forces that results in flexure and ultimate fatigue on enamel and dentin at location away from loading okay so usually we have a tooth this is a tooth suppose and occlusal forces are coming like this but if forces are at a different angle okay different angle but our tooth's long axis is like this which is creating an angle any angle it and uh, it affects mainly on the gingival third of clinical crown so we thought before we had a notion that the gingival third of crown uh, is mostly affected by abrasion but abfraction also seen at the gingival third of clinical crown okay and this uh, abstraction appear as uh, with shaped defect on the facial aspect with sharp margins and internal line angles. In and uh, initial stages, the enamel surface is rough and shows striations or grooves. Later stages, the defects progresses deeper in dentin um, on the when it is uh, going on an accelerated phase. Okay. So how do we manage this? So management is. Um, abrasion on abrasion we need to think of uh, toothbrush okay because this is the reason which causes tooth loss so we need to think of soft toothbrush okay so we can uh, go for filling uh, composite or GAC filling also we can think of uh, fluoride varnish whereas in erosion we need to think of changing diet okay diet is the main cause and we need to solve the problem which is causing uh, in endogenous cases if it is GERT or any such uh, diseases this patient is suffering from we need to think of uh, managing that problem also whereas in abstraction we need to think of occlusal adjustment so occlusal adjustment should be there occlusal adjustment in case of abstraction okay so attrition attrition we can uh, think of uh, it is a minimal wear happens always in in attrition so we can think of desensitizing agents such as uh, topical fluoride varnishes or uh, sensitive toothpastes uh, we have many brands in the market sensodyne uh, sensor dent uh, which is basically having a product potassium nitrate or strontium nitrate which is the component which uh, seals the tooth uh, dentin so we can think of uh, those toothpastes or we can go for composite restoration or any orthodontic treatment or crown lengthening procedures or protective splints all we can apply okay so that's all about wasting diseases of teeth so we have four categories abrasion which is mechanical and tooth 
and other reasons could be uh, tooth flows toothpicks and hairpins uh, holding of hairpin attrition is just physiological uh, two body wear tooth to tooth contact and it is a physiological in nature erosion is chemical it could be endogenous or exogenous abstraction is uh, due to the tensile stress of occlusal loading and this is uh, like a v-shaped notch where facets there will be broad concavity and enamel crazing and microfracture and almost like a v-shaped notch with uh, line ankles and management is soft toothbrush this is like uh, attrition we need to use uh, desensitizing toothpaste and also other orthodontic and crown lengthening all other procedures erosion we can uh, first we need to manage the course if it is endogenous and uh, modifying the diet and the same procedure we can go for uh, such as restrictions uh, and other procedures abstraction we need to uh, do the occlusal correction so I'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more. Thank you.